Network Diagrams Example 1, illustrating wired and wireless connections on a network. So we're going to show an example now of a network diagram specifically illustrating both wired and wireless connections for nodes that may be connected within a network. This diagram will display the connection of four computers, two laptops, a smartphone and a tablet, as well as provide internet connectivity for all of these devices. So Let's get started and I'm going to start with what will probably be right at the center of this network and that would probably be a router device. Okay, because I'm going to need it for that internet connection and wireless connections as well. But still, I've got a lot of other nodes that I need to connect and those other nodes, they can't directly connect to a router because it doesn't have enough ports and that's not how routers are used. So the first thing that I would probably connect to my router is that of a hub or switch. And that's what I would use to connect my four computers. Okay, it could be a hub because potentially they are all the same type of device, or it could be a switch so that all the devices have their own specific communication channel so they can all communicate directly with each other. But we won't go into that too specific just yet. But I need one of those types of central nodes to be connected to my router so that I can connect these four types of computers to my actual network. Okay, because the I am using a Hubble switch, it would be a physical Ethernet connection with the four computers all being physically wired directly to my Hubble switch. All right, so that covers the four computers. The next step now is I want to connect my two laptops. Now, laptops can also be physically connected to the network as well. They have ports on them, most laptops do. But that's not the reason we use laptops. Laptops are portable devices and I want the flexibility to walk around my house and use my laptop. So it's more than likely that this is going to be a wireless connection. So I've got to use the wireless devices symbol. Okay, but they will be directly connecting to the router, all right, through connecting to the network ID and using the password to connect to the home network. But that is how I will connect both my laptops to the network through a wireless connection to the router. The same will go for the smartphone. Smartphones can obviously connect to their own networks based on network providers, but when I'm at home, I do want them connecting to the Wi-Fi of home, and once again, we want to wirelessly connect them to the router, and that is the same scenario for the tablet as well. It will be a wireless connection to the router as well. So here now, all my devices are connected to my home network, but then as said, we want to get them all onto the internet. And that's why we had the actual router as our central device for the wireless device connectivity, but also to connect everything to the internet. So once this connection is made, all devices within this network can connect to the internet and via the internet can connect to the other networks, other servers, websites, send emails, many other types of communication options that are available through the internet. So I hope this video has given you a bit of an understanding of how we can have devices set up. Obviously in the wired aspect where we can use central nodes such as hubs or switches to physically wire devices together as their own network, but as you can see here, their own subsection of a network. And then through connecting to the router, they can have internet connectivity but then also specifically through the router as a central node, we connect all the wireless devices within our network, able to connect to the router as well, and through the router as well, get onto the internet. So I hope this video has given an understanding of the use of different types of symbols and how we represent physical connections within a network and wireless connections within a network.